Picture this. You are building your city and you've run out of inspiration to continue. You really don't want to start a new city, so what do you do when you run out of ideas? I struggle with this myself quite often, so I'm going to show you how I stay inspired to continue building city after city within city skylines. I like to break my city up into sections. This way, I won't get so easily overwhelmed by the amount of empty space I still have left in my city. For this first section, I'll take a screenshot of this area and open the image in an editor. I forgot to take a screenshot of the area before I built it out, but at least I can use this image as an example. The yellow lines are the roads and I plan to dedicate this area to be the downtown of my city. I'll show you my thought process in the next section. Once I have the screenshot, I'll open up an image editor. Microsoft Paint works just fine for this, but you can use whatever you like. In the editor, I like to draw lines where I want major roads to go. I'll also mark out areas where I want residential, commercial, parks, industrial, or anything else really. This is where I can really put ideas together. Once I'm done with that, I'll go back into the game and place my major roads roughly where I drew them. I won't fill in any of the space yet, otherwise I won't accomplish anything and be back to square one. Next, I'll move on to the next section and do the same process, but try to change it up quite a bit and take terrain constraints into consideration. The blue line indicates the border of the city. Since this part of town is near the edge with no highways, I'm thinking this area will be mostly residential with a few parks. Once I've decided where I want everything to be, I'll place the roads down and move on to the next section. If you liked the video so far, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. I'm not interested in placing local roads down at the moment, as those plans can easily change as you get more and more inspired by doing this method. All I'm aiming for is to plan out the major roads, plan out highway connections, and give myself a rough idea of what I want in the area. This method encourages you to change things up with each new section, and may inspire you to go back to the older section to change those. It's also a good way to plan out areas that have steep elevation changes, such as this area here. I need to carefully plan out roads when climbing the large hill. I'm also thinking this would be a great opportunity for a cargo harbor. Since this is a major waterway, the bridge crossing this area needs to be tall enough to allow large ships to pass underneath. This area is the utilities that comes with the map. It's a little more difficult to build in this area, as I don't think people would want to live too close to the noisy buildings. I'm thinking this area will be more sparse with residential and some commercial along the highway. Building at the edge of the buildable area is tough, as it places limitations on where your roads can go. I didn't have much of a choice other than to build a massive bridge across the major waterway. I also needed to finish the freeway in this area. I would expect to see some commercial to build up around the highway interchange and residential to encompass the rest of the area. This area is a little challenging to plan out as there is only one area where we can enter. The top of the image is the city border so I can't connect to the highway from here. One of my limited options to minimize bridge crossings over the major waterway is to have one way in and one way out. This may cause traffic issues, especially since I'm placing the university over in this area. I haven't decided yet if I want the stadiums over here as well, but that will definitely cause traffic issues with only one entrance and exit. I'm thinking having the fishing industry over here in this area as well. We finally made it back to the airport area. There isn't a whole lot of road planning that we can do here as the entire right side is planned for future airport expansion. The left side is pretty steep elevation changes so that also makes it a challenge to build on. I'm thinking I'll make this area a nature reserve with residential at the bottom of the hills. This final area will not have a ton of major roads running through this area. At the top is a freeway that will split at the end at a wide junction into two major roads. The rest of the roads will connect back to the city. I plan to have a historical park as well as an amusement park on the left side. With all of the road planning done, we have a much better idea of where the city will go in the future. 
I now have more inspiration for my city by taking these steps to plan ahead. Of course, anything you plan can change. Sometimes a new idea strikes. You don't have to stick to the plan you laid out for yourself. This is just to give you ideas of where to take your city next. As we fly over the roads I just laid out for myself, we begin to see what shape the city will take. I hope this video helps you stay inspired with the city you are building. Let me know if you used my method to help you. If you like what you see, I would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up. I would also love it if you watched this whole series. Click on screen or in the description to find the playlist for the city. If the next video is up, feel free to click on the screen to watch the next episode in the series. I appreciate you watching my video. Have a great day.